Hi guys, this is Miss Haynes. Um, welcome to Miss Haynes' Distance Learning Classroom. As you know, this is kind of a weird issue for all of us right now, but let's hope that we can make the best of it. So first thing, um, here is some important information. Okay, here's a class overview and agenda for week one. Monday, I'll do an overview of all coursework, which is this video here. Tuesday will be a detailed video lesson of each of the classes that I teach. Wednesday we'll do a full uh, feedback thread discussion of all of my classes. So if anybody has any questions, comments, or concerns, they can voice them there. Uh, Thursday we'll do follow-up question and answer sessions, hopefully through a live Zoom session. And Friday we'll have extended learning opportunities for those of you who want to um, extend upon the lesson. Okay, here is some important teacher information. Of course, my email, lhaines at drumright.k12.ok.us, as well as our Zoom meeting link, which is https colon slash slash zoom.us slash j slash 5561008623. Computer One students, as you know, we were in the middle of a class project for a stop motion animation project. And I don't want to um, alter that a whole lot except for change it from a class project to an individual project of stuff you can find around the house. Um, I will be seeing, sending you an email of some information in more detail as well as a video. So our stop motion animation project is modified. Uh, you'll have intro to storyboarding and storytelling and that will come in an email and you guys can come up with your story overview, your storyboard thumbnail sketch, and your storyboard scene description. Computer 2, my AP Computer Science Principles course, we're still going to be working in Unit 5 Lesson 1, but we are going to slow things down a little and kind of start the unit over in a more step-by-step, video-oriented sort of way. So if you've completed lesson one already and want to expand up on your skills, feel free to do this lesson again. Um, lesson one is over buttons and events. We'll start with the lesson overview. You get an intro into design mode as well as creating a chaser game by the time you finish lesson one. Okay, high school STEAM class, um, your project for the week. I know our season kind of ended shortly and we still have a lot to do with our robot. Hopefully we can eventually get back to that. Um, but for now, your project is to watch um, the video or the, t <coughs> sorry, 10 robotics projects kids can really make. Once you watch the YouTube video over 10 robotics projects kids can really make, and here's the link provided, I want you guys to pick a link which are to the right here on your screen, and research the robot of your choice. Try to think of if you could actually build this robot. Also think about what the cost would be to build the robot that you are looking at. Also think of what jobs you could use this robot to do. Um, have fun with this project. I know it's not as grand as our huge robot that we've been working on, but hopefully this will give us some skills that we can transfer in when our FRC season starts back up. Yearbook and journalism. What I want you guys to try to do, and this can be done virtually or it can be done with gathering supplies from around the house and putting it together in the form of a poster, is create a vision board. A vision board is a dream board or visual board or a collage of images that you can put together just basically trying to nail down some things that you love and if you see it all the time the thought process is is that you'll eventually do something that you love basically there's 10 categories um, 10 images that represent the category and 10 statements of intention of why the image represents the category you chose I do have a more detailed lesson video that you can look at in regards to this um, but like I said, you can do it online, and the video that accompanies this will give you more details on that. Or you can do it just at, around like the house, finding items from around the house, or cutting up magazines. 
something else I would like to challenge you guys to do um, while we are all at home during this crisis is read a book. I've emailed you a link to a digital copy of this book called Blown to Bits. It is a really interesting book. It might be a really interesting read during this time. Um, the digital explosion is transforming your world more profoundly than you will ever imagine. So like I said, I emailed you a digital copy of this book. Feel free to read this. We will talk about it later on. We will probably split it up chapter by chapter if you guys want to do it that way. This is an enrichment assignment, um, something you guys can read and that we can all talk about. All right, guys. Well, I will see you next video. So have a great time. Bye, guys.